What is going on, Pug Nation, and welcome back to another GT5 M server. Okay, we're back on the Tycoon one, and we're going to be doing houses again and the Vinewood Hills route. This is a little bigger route, I think. If you fill the truck, I've done this once, but if you fill up the truck once, you gotta come back and at least get at least 10 more packages. So let's get on with it. It sucks that we can't use the actual UPS truck, but to use the actual UPS truck, you go all the way down. I'm not a trucker, but it's in this area. There's actually a pickup point right there for some reason. Hmm. Of course, there are other routes, so we'll be down there soon when we do the warehouses or we do stores too so up here in the Vinewood Hills it's gonna be tight tight areas come on load it It's funny how the guy can hold 10 right now, but when you take it out of the truck, you can only hold 2. It's weird. See if we can do something real quick. Now it doesn't come up as an inventory. You got a face like my All right, so let's start. Um, I'm gonna try a little something different. Let's go to our farthest point. So if we ever have to come back, hopefully we end up closer to the actual warehouse. Hopefully you guys are getting the GTA 5M application on your PC. Obviously this is only for PC. And if you're one of those console players that is on the fence about getting a PC, it is totally worth it because like everybody needs a PC like I'm sure every household has a PC but what you have to understand is they probably don't have a graphics card you know they don't have the specs to be a gaming PC but every household at least has one when I was growing up we had a home PC that sat downstairs and let me tell you that PC got the brunt of everything we had viruses probably once a month on that PC. It was ridiculous. And then you go there and you'd have to spend two or three hundred dollars to get rid of it. And the weird part is it was, you know, hooked directly up to the modem, so the modem should have protection and stuff, but not being directly connected has been a lot better. As long as you're one of your family members, don't fall from one of the Microsoft shit. <laughs> one of those scams. Actually, that would be yeah, that'd be a year because it was this week last year, right before we went out of town, which was perfect. Oh, 
Oh no, I can actually carry more finally. Nice. That's definitely going to help with this route. Before I can only carry two, but I must have got my carrying ability up. But thank you guys for all the support on the 5M videos. Um, this has definitely been a game changer for me. Obviously, we've been stuck doing Farming Simulator for the longest time, probably three years at least, so it's nice to have a change. Maybe I'll explore some more servers. Um, Probably won't be any time soon. It'll probably be after the Christmas season. So if you guys have been with my channel for at least a year, you know that around the Christmas season, I try to upload videos, but it's a little busy at work. So bear with me. I'm going to try to get as much video work as done, but the support during the Christmas season is always helpful watching the videos as much as possible telling your friends let's see how many we can hold hmm maybe we were just carrying 10 from the stop And I want to put some feedback down in the comments below what you like to see more 5M stuff over Farming Simulator. How do you want to, what kind of content do you want me to post? What do you want to favor? So, do we take a break from Farming Simulator? I'm also going to try to find more games too. I think if you, I haven't made a video just yet on it, but they did make a Deadliest Catch game, which... My memory serves me right, there was one on the 360, which was pretty good. For me, at least, I uh, turned it back into GameStop, wasn't working, and got five bucks for it, which was awesome. Oh, looks like we gotta eat. Drink. Why is that car trying to take almost the entire road? And then on this route, um, there was one house I went to that had two white circles. So that was like three each. So you had like six packages, which is pretty interesting. I guess we're right here, so.
Oh, there we go. He's got to keep holding it. Nice. Now we can carry more cargo. Just got to keep tapping E once it gives us the option to do it. Back up here and let's go do this one before we leave. I don't want to put it back. Alright, so we have stuff underneath us we would have to turn around for. So let's actually go up to there and start working up top of our route and then we'll work our way down. Just down the street. Yep. But I do gotta say, this is a way longer route than our first route that we did. First route was pretty easy. That's gonna be really interesting when we get to like the stores and the warehouses. Those make more money too. If you guys are still at, at this part of the video, let me know in the comments below and also by leaving a like on the video. You guys are my true supporters. I think we'll try to make some longer videos. If you guys didn't catch, I did make a video about starting a business. We have a burger joint, basically. Oh, that's right. It's all the way up here. So, with that burger place, I think it was like $300,000. And then it makes $13,000 a day. So, it's kind of like a starting business, but you can work your way up to making almost a million dollars a day. which to explore all these jobs gotta have some businesses too because I think and hopefully it's true 
is while I'm off the server, those businesses are still making money because it's by the day or by the hour. Can't remember what it was. Probably by the day at least. And I say we go for a quick dip. Huh. All right, let's head to this one. So if you guys have made it this long in the video, I've been thinking about it. So we had, um, what was it? It was on Facebook. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. But, um. It's in my description. It's the one that did the graphics. Um. Cannot remember his name. Iconic Upgrades. That's what it was. So, Iconic Upgrades did the uh, artwork for my stuff. Would you guys like it to actually be on shirts and some merchandise? You know, it's a simple design. Maybe we can do the banner on a shirt. Oh shit, I need... Oh yeah, this is the multi-stop. Grab some more cargo. But let me know down in the comments below. I think we can use... There's some sites that people use. And I have some other ideas too. I have a really cool EPA shirt that I should probably sketch out. There we go. So this is a multi-stop. You can kind of see there's... So you need four, but I just brought a bunch of cargo. And then they... So they only needed four. Not bad. That was a cool multi-stop. Alright, let's head to... We really don't want to go that way. Yeah, let's go get these. We are getting down on cargo. And maybe I can get back with iconic upgrades and you can think of some more stuff for my channel. Make some cool designs. And I'm going to probably put a little bit of my opinion in this situation, but with the uh, whole child act and stuff, whatever you want to call it, that they're clamping down on us content creators. When I started this channel, obviously, I'm not looking to entertain anybody below 13 years old. But if you lied about your age to get on YouTube, that's on you. Or you could say if your parents don't watch you, that's on you your parents too so I don't really know where other people should have to watch your child and watch they they actually do because that's on the parents you know if you have a child you have the responsibility 24 7 of what your child does so when I started this channel four years ago obviously I'm just making content to ever whoever has access to it So if you lied about your age and you're, you know, I don't know what the age is to get on YouTube, I don't honestly remember, but if you're within like two or three, eight, you know, you would honestly lie about it. If you lied about your age, that that's on you, so.
uh, and maybe it is 13 you have to be at least 13 years old to be on YouTube so if you were like 10 years old at the time and you're like oh okay that's only three years away but that really makes a difference so I don't really agree with this law this is probably about the only law I don't agree with but overall it really doesn't affect me so the biggest hit that people are taking is like if you're actually making content for children you know if you make something on the lines of Nickelodeon content or Cartoon Network and you have like personalized ads and stuff that all goes bye bye you know you can't have comments can't have likes it's unfortunate but the world is changing as we know it YouTube was once a good place to make money like obviously you see cutie pie and Lance Stewart and you know all the car guys making mounds of money you can see it in like street speed 717 and you know if you're really good at that stuff obviously if your channel takes off if you're one of the lucky ones I just did it as a hobby you know if I made a little cash yeah, that's fine with me so not out to make millions of dollars I'm not one of those people that despise going to a nine-to-five job or a job that's outside of my house I like getting out of the house and exploring the world not just being cooped up like some of these youtubers like But it is nice to have a second income. I'm not really liking the idea of just going to one job and that is your only income. Having multiple incomes is definitely a perk. But I hope all you guys that are YouTubers that watch my channel, obviously we watch each other's channel. Uh, hopefully you guys follow my video. It's one simple, easy process. Just select all your videos and then go to audience on the option tab. And basically I would say every 99% of people are just going to select no. I wouldn't fuck with the government. I wouldn't be um, trying to go against them. So... Obviously, I just said the F word, so that I'm not obviously making kids content, but to get my point across, definitely. And honestly, if the government knew how much these kids actually know through the school system, because my mom works for the school system, a lot of these kids already know, like, half of the cussing by when they're in kindergarten so the government is really not protecting anybody at this point because the children are advancing themselves quite fast and do it on their own If the government really wants to know, come to my town because as soon as you step in some of those elementary schools, you probably couldn't even go five feet without hearing a cuss word from a, a child because it's ridiculous. Every time I go into that school, I just hear cussing. I'm just like, where are you learning from this? Obviously, your parents don't give a crap. So really the government is wasting their time with this bill. They're just getting all worked up like, you know, I've seen the video of this guy, he's like, oh, we got, you know, the FCC and we got these people that can come and sue you. I'm just like, you're wasting your breath, you're wasting your life on this. Go get a real job, you know, go find something else that is actually going to make the world a better place. 
Do something different. Do a different wall. Because at this point, you look like you're just on a bunch of meth. <laughs> you know, come out to the real world. Come into the hood schools and see if you can actually make it. Because I bet you won't. All these senators and Congress need to learn what the world is actually doing, not what they have seen 20 years ago. Because 20 years ago, between 20 years ago and now, it has changed dramatically. It's not like what it used to be when, you know, my parents were growing up in the 80s, you know. Life ain't the same. Don't honk at me just because you came in my lane. Oh. Man, we are making some good money. We're about to double our bank account on this. Minus $20,000, I think. That's what we got from the business today. So that's also what the business is saying. It's not going to automatically go to your account. So if you have like 5 or 10 businesses, you got to go all around... The GTA world to pick up your money so you could be like okay I'll just collect my money once a week or something you know in real time and that's probably what I would do or whenever you need money so if you got one of those properties that makes you a couple million dollars you know come once a week or something let it stack up Uh, let's see how much cargo we have left. Ooh, we only have eight left. With this route, we do have to go back to the depot. Because it doesn't want to show me how much cargo I have. Oh, we picked up three. Nice. Alright, so let's do this one, and then we'll try to hit those might be okay because apparently we carried some into the truck which a lot a lot of drivers don't do they always say keep it in the trailer or keep it in the uh, actual cargo area but being a I guess a good employee is always going outside the box the company isn't gonna tell you what to do 24-7 of your shift. They'll always give you opportunities to go outside the box. Like, for instance, UPS says, okay, go at least 300 packages an hour, but what they didn't tell you is you may get more than 300 boxes per hour. So you have the opportunity of going three, you know, 400 PPH, which is boxes per hour. You can go four or 500, which I've done pretty easy but it's crazy like I'll go four to five hundred boxes per hour and the people that actually because I don't have music in so the people that do have music in are a lot slower than me but they say to me oh I need music to function I'm like no I think you're just talking out of your ass 
And it's a safety hazard, too. Not if you get the ones, which... I don't know if you guys seen it. There is a sponsor. I can't remember the name, but it's through NASCAR. Not through NASCAR, but the company is in NASCAR. And I think it's something, but it's... um. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's... um. It's like... It goes up to your... Um, like a bone in front of your ear so the music is like way out in front of your ear but you can actually still hear people around you they're expensive but it's almost like a stereo sound type of deal all right so are we out of cargo let me see if there's any of my inventory Nope. Alright, let's go get two more, and then we'll finish up this video. For shits and giggles, there is one up in here. That's over a mile. Nope, that's closer. So with that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have stuck to this part of the video, you guys are the MVP subscribers. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll give you a free scene game. As I try to lose my voice again. <laughs> and with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And we will see you guys in the next 5M or Farming Server or Farming Simulator game. Make sure you have your posts notifications on ring that bell so you don't miss out or set reminders in your phone because i do have the schedule if you don't know it it's tuesday thursday saturday at 3 p.m central time zone which would be four if you're on the east coast and two if you're like in the colorado area pretty simple to figure out and then it's like 1 p.m on the california time and then I think UK time, I think it's like 5 p.m., I believe-ish. Should be 5 or 6 p.m. See you guys later. Thanks for all.